What? What is this? My dad wears this all the time. Um, update again, day two. I'm still sick. I don't have as many exhausting symptoms, I guess. Like, there's still congestion here. It's thick. It's turned yellow. I'm getting it all out. I'm just gonna try to slowly rest and get some work done because I'm really behind. Oh, and we lost like five fish in the last two days, so something's going on. And I'm pretty sure there's like a bacteria called ick because there's little white spots everywhere. So I'm trying to treat that as well because I just got a new rope fish and he's awesome. I don't want him to die. And I'll probably be getting more so he's not lonely, but last night we were able to hand feed him the first time ever and it was super cool. So I'll show that on here. I'm going to go take like 80 vitamins and eat and rest a little bit first though. assortment of things to take. Multivitamin. Mucinex. Somebody please tell me if I'm not supposed to do these all at once. I'm trying to nuke the body here. This stuff that Trent gave me, I don't know what it is. I'm dying, so I'm interested in anything. I'm actually going to take this one first because I have to let this sit for like 15 minutes and then I can eat. That's actually it. I'm going to eat some food and take those. So I've been trying to find a good pepper shaker too. Pepper grinder, excuse me. I had this one from Walmart. I need to stop ordering things from Walmart or buying things. They just don't work. This cheap, this super cheap sea salt grinder. I saw it at a restaurant and someone put pepper on it. Or maybe it was a pepper grinder. I don't like how it's plastic inside, but it gives me coarse pepper grinds. So I'm using this until I find like a nice wooden or steel one that's pretty big. daytime and he's kind of, my fish is kind of timid, but I got his food. I'm going to feed all the other fish so they get distracted. I'm going to try to hand feed him here. I know, I know that's love. 
So I know I'm supposed to be working on work, but I haven't done a water change on the aquarium, which is where you take X amount out and replenish it with fresh water. You know, just like a stream or river, it's always coming in, but here the water can get stale, so we do a water change every once in a while. And I haven't done that since I've been back, so I'm doing that right now. Hopefully that will kind of assist with the bacteria infection that has hit my tank. I'm pretty sure my plecos, I got it from them. I only can find one. I bought two, so maybe one died already, but the other one's just covered in spots more than any other fish, so I predict it came from them. I probably should need to isolate it real quick, but I'm only doing a small water change, taking out some and then replenishing it with good water. Looks like we got our patio set. Got a lot of new stuff coming in. Okay, so I was gonna nap, but I can't. I just wanna do things. Funny story, this old, old, I don't even know if you can see it, hold on. This super duper old TV stand, super duper old TV stand, I got my freshman year of college. That was 2006. It was the first time being in the dorms. I had like a little eBay business, I was selling things, and we put our wood lofts up, and it was it was the coolest thing to me. I was like, oh, I have this wooden frame that I can just drill anything into, and I can just hang stuff. So I had, I wish I had pictures, and that's what's nice about vlogs now, is I have things, but I had sets of LED lights that supposed to go behind, or underneath cars. I had them on other cars, and since I went to college, I yanked them off, and I had like, underneath, underneath this loft where my desk was, which is LED lights all commanded. There's neon lights in the back. There was just cables going everywhere. And I really wanted like a seven inch screen right by my bed. Um, I would put my laptop up there or I'd turn a monitor over there, but I wanted like an LCD screen. So I was always on eBay trying to find like flat panels and stuff for really, really cheap. I even was trying to find like a small car one and I would just mount it on the wood on the side so I could just watch movies. I was finally had DVDs and I finally had players and I finally had just equipment to work with. It was so cool. I got this guy because I was going to put a TV up close. Never did. Brought it to my next apartment. Hung a big CRT up. Never really used it. Went to the next apartment. Hung it up on the side. Um, this has been everywhere with me. I have never thrown this away. It was like $26. It took me forever to buy, of course, but now it's here. If I just mount that up there, I can rack everything until I get an actual rack. I think it'll be okay. Keep it away from everything. So I'm going to install this now. I think I can drop this light then. Look at this mess. This is a box just full of scrap metal pieces and nuts and bolts and things that don't go to anything. This is what I use for everything. Where's my... I think that's solid concrete. I don't think there's any wood there.